Hey guys, today we're looking at a classic example, finding the maximum tension in a cable under uniform loading. Since this is distributed loading, we can use the shape equation for our cable that we found last time, where Y is our vertical position, TH is our constant horizontal tension value, and W of X is our loading function, which varies along the X axis. Today, we'll use that equation to find an expression for our max tension. We want this expression to be in terms of things we know. What we know will be the length of our cable span, L, the cable sag, H, and our uniform load value, W0. Note that I've put the origin in the middle of our cable. That's because our system is symmetric. There's no point using the full length when the tension will be the same on each side. This adventure starts with us building two tools for later. We want a function for the slope of our cable and to know what our horizontal tension is. Let's start with the slope. This is our shape equation. Note that W of X has been replaced with W naught. That's because we have uniform loading, which means it's constant and not a function of X. Now, we don't like calculus, but sometimes it's a necessary evil. So let's integrate this sucker. Now let's look at some boundary conditions to see if we can get rid of these silly constants. Because of our fortuitous origin placement, we have a nice boundary condition at the origin of x equals zero and y equals zero. So we can plug this coordinate into our function. Our y is zero and this x and this x are also zero, which means if we simplify, we get which means our C2 value must equal zero. Now let's find our slope. We're going to take the first derivative of our shape equation. The slope for our shape equation would be Now, is there a boundary condition for the slope that we can use to help us find C1? Our origin is at the bottom of our cable seg, which along the full length of our cable is where the slope changes from negative to positive. And what happens between negative and positive? Zero. At the origin, our slope is zero. At x is equal to zero, our slope is also equal to zero, which means C1 would also equal zero. And that means that the equation for our slope can be rewritten as W naught X over TH. Now let's use our shape equation to find an expression for our horizontal tension TH. We just learned that our two constants were equal to zero. That means our shape equation can simplify to And looking at our system, is there any point where we know the values for both an x and y coordinate? Well, at the end of our system, the x value is equal to L over 2, and our y value is equal to H, our seg. So we can plug those values into this equation. Now we can rearrange and simplify this to give us an equation for th. This is a nice expression for our horizontal tension in terms of our knowns, w naught, l, and h. We're going to use it later. Now back to our max tension. Last time we learned that the tension in our cable changes as a function of the cable angle. Between zero and 90 degrees, the value of cosine decreases as the angle increases. 
Since our tension is inversely proportional to the cosine of our angle, tension increases as our angle also increases. So our max tension will occur where we have our max angle. Where do we have our maximum angle? It's near the support where the slope in our cable is also its maximum. The slope and the angle are related through the tangent, opposite over adjacent. Thankfully, the slope is something we already found today. And we know it's a maximum near the end by our support, where our x value is equal to L over 2. And since these are all knowns, we can rearrange to solve for our theta. We're almost done. Now we've got an equation for our maximum tension and our maximum angle. But I don't want to have to go through both of these equations every time I want a tension. Get it? A uh, tension? A tension? Anyways, so we're going to use our magical triangle and the fact that tangent just means opposite over adjacent. And we can use Pythagoras to tell us that the hypotenuse should be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now we can use our triangle to replace cosine of theta because cosine just means adjacent over hypotenuse. Note that because cosine was on the bottom, we write the inverse, which is hypotenuse over adjacent. And we can simplify this. That's a pretty good equation for a max tension, right? But wait, there's more. Remember, I already made you find an equation for a horizontal tension, TH. So we're going to take that and substitute it into this equation. We plugged in our equation for the horizontal tension. Now we just need to simplify. And we get our nice equation for the maximum tension. Being honest, getting this equation was a of work. Thankfully, we don't have to do it again, because for any similarly loaded cable system, we can get our max tension just by using this equation, as long as we know our loading value, our span length, and our seg. Pretty neat, right? Great work today, guys. Come back next time for more examples on cables with distributed loads.